Tonight at 10, a 17 year old boy is in the ICU after a shooting in West Price Hill over the weekend. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Tonight, the victim's family is speaking out for the first time. Pate Marshall has a story you'll only see right here on Box 19 now. Yeah, Rob, Trisha, 17 year old Christopher Saturday is really fighting for his life still here inside the ICU after he was shot on Sunday morning. Now his grandmother and great grandmother spoke for the first time tonight. In fact, the great grandmother was there at the time of the incident. They're praying for his healing, but they also say that this gun violence has to stop. Every time I go in my dining room, it's like I'm looking at him laying in all that powdered blood. Ada Tribble is the great grandmother to 17 year old Christopher Saturday. This blood right there. Chris was shot on Sunday morning in the family's driveway. Something his grandmother Bessie Forte will never forget. He banged on the door, the back door, and my mama heard him. He said, Grandma, help me. Help me, please, please, Grandma, help me. This Chris. Court documents show the suspect, Marcus Antonio Adam Scott, traveled to the victim's home and fired two rounds from a handgun. A second suspect, Michaela Jackson, was in court Tuesday for complicity. The family tells me Michaela was Chris's girlfriend. In fact, on Sunday, Bessie was on the phone with Ada, telling her to be on the lookout for Chris to come home. Bessie says she knew this because Michaela contacted her saying she sent Chris home in a lift. That's when Bessie heard gunshots through the phone. I said, stay with me, Chris, stay with me. He said, I am grandma, I am, I am grandma, and they shot me. I said, who, who did it? He said, my girlfriend and her boyfriend. Ada says Chris was losing a lot of blood as it trailed into the dining room where he eventually collapsed. They rather kill than to think. They need to use this. What do they have this for? Chris is fighting for his life in the ICU as the family prays for his recovery. These people want to keep bringing guns into it. Like, let these kids grow up. Let them have their life. The family says they knew Michaela. Not only are they hoping for Chris's survival, but they say they feel betrayed by her. Reporting live at UC Medical Center, Peyton Marshall, Fox 19 Now.